Okay, so today's video is on the movie Spider-Man Homecoming. And uh, this scene is from his high school scene where he's doing some sort of physics problem and then right after he uh, makes his web fluid. So I'm going to take a look at this physics scene, show you how it's done, and see uh, why he was right and why Flash was wrong. That'd be great. Okay, so how do we calculate linear acceleration between points A and B? Flash. It's the product of sine of the angle and gravity divided by the mass. Nope. Peter, you still with us? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh mass cancels out, so it's just gravity times sine. Right. See, Flash, being the fastest isn't always the best if you are wrong. <laughs> So this is what the diagram looked like, and we see that point A is starting right here, and it's going to go in a curved path to point B. Now, what they're asking is linear acceleration, not some sort of curve, right? So what it really should look like is just the tangent to the ball. That would be the linear acceleration. So it would be something like this in which the direction of the ball is going in something like that the ball is traveling in this direction now the question becomes what's the magnitude of this force and then using Newton's second law we can solve for the acceleration of the ball now how do we do that we are given so little information we're given that there's an angle theta and that this is the force that we need to calculate there's another thing that we know so let's, let's call this x for now. The other thing that we know is that this, this line, the straight down force due to gravity, this is mg, mass times gravity. That's the force of the ball, that's the weight of the ball. Now how does this really help? Well, it actually it's a huge help in this case because now we know something else we know this angle right here is also theta and how do we know that? I mean that doesn't really make any sense right? well let's draw something like this straight line right angle and if we were to continue this line downward straight line let's assume and this one continued downwards we'd find that this angle is a right angle that's theta that's x and um, this this is not drawn to scale of course but what we know is that since this is parallel to this these equal so in reality it's actually something like that these are similar triangles Therefore, we know that this is theta, and we can solve for x pretty simply. Uh, so, what does x become? Well, we know, using trigonometric functions, we know that sine theta equals opposite, which is x, over hypotenuse, mg. And then we, if we solve for x, which is the value that we're looking for, force, we can see that x equals mg sine theta. I'm going to use a different color here. So now that we know that this is the force, the magnitude, this, we can actually solve for something else. We can also solve for the linear acceleration, which is what we're looking for, using Newton's second law. So we know the net force has to equal mass times acceleration, linear acceleration, which equals what we've been given, x, which equals mg sine theta. Now what Peter Parker said was, was that mass cancels out, and we're left with linear acceleration 
equaling g sine theta. Now, what was Flash wrong? I mean, other than the fact that he didn't say that masses cancel out, he said g sine theta. Use a different color. g sine theta over n. This is wrong. This is wrong. But why did he come up with that? Well, the only reasonable explanation I can think of is that he didn't say that the weight was mg. He said the weight was just g. So if he only said that the weight was g, he said that this was actually just g, then we get something that looks like this. Sine theta equaling x over g. This is a g, by the way, sorry. And then if you multiply x equals g sine theta, and then we'd get something along these lines, g sine theta over m. That's not right, because he didn't take into account that the weight force, force due to gravity, was mg. That's why Flash was completely wrong. Peter Parker, showing his genius in the film, which I love how they actually showed this small but accurate uh, physics problem. How genius, the genius level that Peter Parker's at. Alright, comment down below. Uh, other movie suggestions that where you see some sort of science that you don't understand or any sort of math that you don't understand. And that's it. Thank you.